Manisha Gupta joins us as well to tell us what's going on in the commodity markets overnight. Morning, Manisha. Morning, Nigel. Thank you for that. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices, which are trading steady, and uh, this is ahead of the OPEC meeting on 26th of November. Uh, apart from that, it also has to do with the seven oil companies impacted at the Gulf of Mexico due to oil discharge of almost a million gallons. Remember, the prices had declined 16% since the end of September, so that there is some buying and some buying uh, fundamentals as well that you can see in crude. But the real action really is clearly in case of metals there. You have seen the dollar index decline to a two-and-a-half-month low. The 10 year Treasury yields are trading at a two-month lows as well, and that has been supportive. Uh, China leaving prime rate steady, as expected, also has been supportive. So you have the copper prices now trading at around two-month highs. Copper also is taking support from disruption at mines in Peru and Panama. And within the precious metals, it is $2,000 an ounce back for gold. We saw 2% gains for silver, platinum as well. So there is a strong support because of the weakness in dollar and the expectation that the Fed will not hike rates in the month of December now. All right. Okay. Well, uh, Manisha, thanks very much uh, for that.